Todd, uh, he tuned his drums, he tuned his snare drum down so it was a little, it was a little fatter, because he's used to the, 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 you know, that, that really cracking snare drum. So I have to really tip my hat to Todd. He, he got out of his comfort zone with the sound of his drums. And uh, he just went on faith that it was gonna be what it was gonna be, and, it, and now he loves it. But really the story uh, had not been told. We had not figured out how it's gonna be mixed, where it's gonna be mixed. Uh, we were hoping, Jim Scott was, from the very beginning, he was the guy, what if we could get Jim Scott? Um, but the, the, uh, the rock gods have smiled down on us. We got our wish list pretty much completely uh, down to Jim and Will getting to mix the 5.1. So the drums, the, dr the drums have this magical way of, the, they're, they're, not, they're, they're not all out in front all the time, but they're always there. And um, that was something I was concerned about uh, Todd being happy with, with the mixes. Uh, so we would do a uh, mix where, like, okay, let's, we like it the way it is, let's bring the drums up a couple of dB. And we realized we, were, we already were there. We, we, now, now I don't hear the guitar solos, and now let's put them back. And I still hear the drums perfectly. So um, I think we all had to condition our ears to hearing the power of analog again. And a lot of those rooms were, um, in the 70s, they recorded drums in small rooms. Sometimes they had cloth walls. I mean, it was dead. And that's what I think now a lot of drummers currently go, oh my God, that sound, you know, it's horrifying, you know, because there's no ambience at all. We're in an age in the last 30 something years where room mics are used all the time. <clears throat> the drums are spanky, they're exciting. And in the 70s, I, I still love them. They're just a different, it's a different animal. And uh, Tommy was quick to tell me that, you know, John Panazzo recorded in very small rooms. And if we're getting to that classic sound, that's what we're gonna go for. We, because of the size of Todd's kit, we had to compromise a little and use a bigger room, but use all the close mics, no ambient mics. And that's how we ended up doing that. We brought a, a, a guy in who is a friend of mine who's an amazing mixer engineer named Alan Hertz, who's also a phenomenal drummer. And I knew he would dial up the 70s, get, you know, get the 70s drum sound with his miking techniques and everything. Between he and Todd working together and they had a great relationship during the session, I think everything was just kind of going as planned. And we were happy, we got that 70s drum sound and I think the guys were happy too. It's true, Alan it was a good ally. It was good for, for, because he's a very highly respected drummer himself, Alan. And so he sat at the console and he talked back and forth to Todd and Todd trusted him. Uh, and uh, watching Todd do those drum takes was just, it, it was uh, unforgettable. Yeah. He is, he is so incredibly talented, not just as a, live performer or a session performer, but, but as a compositional drummer. And, you know, Will really pointed that out, that he came here, he knew exactly what he was gonna play through every bar of every song. Light it up, let's get this show on the road.